Uh, I'm just how I'm interpreting the question. No, no, you, just, yeah. just, just ask, answer the question oh. as, as everyone to everyone to understand. Some layman, yeah. or someone doesn't read the scripture at all, just to understand this concept. Because we farm makers and they say God is love, God is love. When you say this God, this God is absolute love, they say yes, God is absolute love. Yeah. So that's what is love represents God and God represents love. That's all. Is I'm that asking if the, if the attribute of God is just love or is that oh, no, no, this one of many? Well, not an attribute per se, but it's one way to know his nature is through love. So his nature is love? One of, yeah. One you of can't his know nature. his nature. You can't know his nature. You can know his nature. I, I, thought, I thought you were Christian. As a Christian, yeah. you know his nature by coming as a man. His nature by coming as a man? Yeah. Then he came as a man. How do you mean nature? Yeah, no, no, I know what you're saying, but how do you mean nature? Well, as a man, he came as a human being. No, but how do you mean nature? Nature of God, how? I'm asking you. You are the one who is, who is the expert yeah, in Christianity. You're, you're saying that we know his nature, but like he came as a man. Yeah, so when, when so someone, over, someone, his nature someone coming over. as a man, yeah. Means has weaknesses, yes, go to we toilet, defecate, to urinate, yeah. do all of these. Do, no, do, do you acknowledge that one of the natures of what do you call Jesus Christ is the nature is human? So, can God have this nature which is human, which is weak? Yes. I see no issue. So can God be weak? Then? Well, God isn't weak. But well, if you, how is that? How is it weak to say? It, right? If you how associate the human nature, yeah. that by nature human itself is weak. Is so why can the human nature not be lifted to its perfect, like most perfect sense? Human, human nature, human firstly, though? human nature, firstly, is flawed. Sorry, but it's flawed. Flawed. Oh, we exactly. know this. Okay. We know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's flawed. Okay. Yeah. But we also know that Jesus was born without sin. Okay. Born without sin. So he's not flawed. Everyone's born without sin. Are we sure? Yeah. Are we sure? Is were you a sinner when you were a baby? Yes. What, what was your sin? Inherited sin. Yeah, but that's not that's it, not your sin. Sorry, can I just ask a question? I'm not here to be facetious. It's just a genuine thing that I've come reading the cross. Yeah. No, no, we, we are, because we are no, Muslims. No, no, I know, I know. So I know. We ask but in, in the Quran. Listen, Francisco, Francisco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, don't jump into the Quran. We're going to answer your question no, no, about no, the Quran. No, no, no. But I listen, just, listen, I just want a clarification here. I, I, I will tell you, we will clarify to you. But here, let's know where you stand. Yeah, and then yeah. after that, because every single Christian on earth has his own interpretation of Christianity. Yeah? Sure. Every, like, there is no two Christian, they can have the same, agree. The same, agree one thing. So that's a problem. So for us, we'll answer your question about that. So I wanted to understand yeah. about, when you ask you about the nature, you start, you start arguing what's nature, etc. But I'm asking you, yeah, yeah. when you say Jesus became, was born as a man, and you said every man born, yeah? Let's go back to the, po to the point. How? Listen to this. Listen to this. Yeah, go ahead. Now, now we, you believe in inherited, you know, sins. Original sin. Yeah, original sin. Which goes in the bloodstream, correct? Goes in, ge in genetics, correct? From father to children to all, all of them. It's like the mark on the soul. It's not genetic. The mark on the soul. It's inherited. Uh, How is it inherited then? If it's in the soul. What did my soul? I was in there. My, for example, me, when, when my soul was blown in the, in the body, in the womb of my mother, yeah? At that time, what the soul has done? Adam is the father of humanity. Adam is the father of humanity. I'm not talking about the father. No, 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 no. Let's go about it through this. If Adam and Eve are the original sinners, and all of us, I understand. And, and, and Adam and Eve, we all, and we all eventually, far, far enough back, we come to them. Hold on, we come to them. Their original nature as human beings, their soul was clean, because they were in Eden. Good. And then, and then when they fell, their soul became corrupted. Their soul? Yes. Their soul and their nature became corrupted. A human being can be known by their soul and their nature. So if their soul as humans was corrupted, does that not make sense for all of their children then? Whether you want to argue through genetics or whether you want to argue through means of a mystery, which is how we interpret it, by a mystery or through genetics, our souls are of theirs as well, corrupted. Okay. Can I ask you a question? First of all, now do you know, for example, when the, when the baby, for example, formed in the womb of the mother, yeah. the soul initially is not there. The soul is with God in the beginning then after that the soul will be attached to the body and then after that you know the, the baby formed etc and then become a human being that's not the point is the soul you said a good thing is a pure which is right 
Original. Yeah, original pure. Now the question is, what is your soul has to do? We, for example, if the sin of Adam, suppose this, if it's inherited, should go in the body rather than the soul. From where you got it, it corrupt the soul. Where did you get this from? The initial corruption. Initially, the initial corruption yeah. is the fall no, no, of you, you, you interpret it with a soul. Where is this in the Bible to, ta to say that the corruption happens in the soul? Where is the Bible this? So if... Right, Can I bring up some scripture from John? Yeah, yeah. that's what he's asking. In the soul, in the soul. We're talking about the soul, yeah? Sorry, not, not sure, 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 sure. By the way, we need to explain that the story which you narrated about Adam and Islam yeah. is different in Islam yeah, yeah, no, no. than in the Bible, uh, compared to the Bible. Yeah. yeah. Listen, Nicodemus, this is John 3, 4. Nicodemus said, how can anyone who, if you want to read it. Sorry. No, read it, read it. How can anyone who is already old be born? Is it possible to go back into the womb again and be born? This is Jesus talking about being clean. Jesus replied, in all truth I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born through water and spirit. What is born of human nature is human. What is born of the spirit is spirit. No, 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 no. It does answer. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. We understand this. No, at your age, yeah, as young as you are, and as handsome as you are. I'm young. Why do you say this? Right? You are young. We're all young. Listen. I'm, the I'm trying to soften you up so I can win. No, no, I'm joking. I'm the youngest here. <laughs> Just carry on. Here. Okay, I'm Gil. <laughs> Uncle Gil Okay, okay Sunny boy. <laughs> yeah, right. No. So, we understand that we cannot be born again. Right? I cannot enter my mother again as an embryo and then be born that's at my fine. age. That's fine. Right? So there's something in my nature that needs to be born again. Right? I have to be born again somehow in my nature. Right? My nature has to be clean somehow to be born again. And this is through baptism, through the water. My spirit needs to be clean. Are you you're talking about uh, baptism now? Yeah. Listen, we are not talking about no, 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 no. I'm not talking about Listen, listen. listen. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You mentioned yes, water. I'm mentioning water that's baptism. as a means of explaining how Francis, I know that this is a touch Francis, of the soul. Francis, yes. You're all over the place. I'm not all over the place. Going back to the point, I asked you a simple and straightforward question. You said the sin is inherited through the soul. Yes. I asked you, where did you get this from? Simple question. And I've answered your you question. Try. No, 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 no. I've given you my answer. So and you're not listening. Can to you me. please listen? Yes. Could, I could understand you. I could. I'm talking to what I, if the message of God is so straightforward, with even layman, a shepherd in, in Jerusalem yeah. or a fisherman in whatever, will understand these words. Is this these words that you said will explain to them that we in our souls that it inherited this sin in our soul. It doesn't mean this there. I could I could do another thing. It's talking about no one goes to the womb with a mother because each one will go through a, a, a spirit and water. Yeah. So what this related to the inheritance inheritance of the sin in the soul? I think I will. I'll, I'll has give nothing you a, to I'll do. Give you a reference to the Bible, which actually says otherwise. So if you read Ezekiel 18, it says the father is not accountable for the sin of the son, and the son is not accountable for the sin of the father. Now it mentions sin there, and it talks about. The inheritance from the father to son or the son to the father. So the Bible clearly says something opposite to what you are saying. What is Ezekiel 18 says? The father is not accountable for the sin of the son. And the, the son, son is not accountable for the, for the sin of the father. father. Like our then father. It goes Adam. on to say that the wicked is the wicked. If they if they repent to God, then they will have eternal life, which means that sins will be forgiven. Now it doesn't mention anything about uh, any sacrifice or about inheriting the sin. It just talks about if you sin and you repent to God, then you'll be forgiven, which is exactly the message of Islam. You see, in the case where you said even the baby yeah. from day one is born with a negative account of sin inherited yes. from the from the parents and forefathers and so on. No, not from the Adam. parents, from Adam. Well, Adam through the progeny of... Yes, but it's progeny. directly from Adam, not from the parents. Because if my parents were baptized, Hold on. If my parents were baptized, yeah. confirmed, went to confession, and gave birth to me, my soul is still corrupted by the fall of Adam. 
That's what I'm saying. Yes. So it comes through your parents, right? No, from Adam. No, but through your parents, I'm saying. Then why are you Adam. mentioning inheritance? Then? But how, how is it that's the inheritance from Adam. No, but your heritage, when you inherit something, you know, you never, Adam and Eve never were I in never your life. Them. Exactly. I never knew. They were never in your life. Yeah. So when you talk about inheritance, even if, let's say, even in, if it in, bypasses in the all your in the parents line. and everything, okay? The day you were born, you were born as a sinner. Yes. Okay? Now, that itself shows injustice. Because a sin, a sin is only when you are aware as a as a grown up, you know, you have you have enough uh, intelligence Conscience. Conscience. to understand right. what is a sin and to do it. Yeah. But a one year old baby doesn't even know how to feed itself. Yes, I'm not saying the baby goes around and commits sins. No, but it has the culpability, yeah. the culpability to oh, sin no. oh, as it grows. You mean the potential to sin? No, not the potential to sin. It is a sinner and will sin. Well, wait, are you saying what do you mean culpability? Not not potential. So let me ask you this: When Adam, before he even plugged the forbidden tree, did he have the potential to sin? Why not? He did. He, did. How he, he wouldn't did? have otherwise. He How? wouldn't have plugged it. How? Okay. Adam was told not to. So a perfectly clean, a perfectly clean human being, yeah. the soul that is willing to obey God at all things. Yeah. That one rule: do not pluck a fruit from a tree. Yeah. Did he break he the rule? No, 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 no. Hold on. Yes, he broke the rule. Of course he did. So if he was perfect, no, 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 how did he break the rule? Yeah. So is he perfect in Islam? Uh, just my own question. We're focusing no, no, no. on the in Bible. Islam, we're they, focusing on the Bible. Okay. But I just want to clear. Yeah, yeah, sure. so in Islam, so in Islam the story that. of Adam and Eve is yeah. completely different. Yeah. I'll tell you why. Because in Islam, Adam and Eve were born with the potential to sin, just like you and me have the potential to sin means we have the uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we have something which we call the ability to choose between good and bad yeah that, that's now, the meaning the meaning of the hadith all the sons of adam are a sinner mean have the potential of sin and the best of the sinners are those who repent meaning we are inclined to sin so why are the sons of adam who have the potential to sin so why is that not any different to what we believe no because you no, no, you believe you're born already a sinner we say no you are not born a sinner you born have the ability to sin yes but when you grow up you are not accountable until you reach the age of puberty when you reach the age of puberty and then you decide to sin and against and against the word of god against the will of god then you are a sinner then it will be counted no we don't agree because you said you're born as a sinner you're born but in, but in, in Christianity, you're saying you already inherited the sin from Adam, which means you are guilty from day one. And we believe as so well, the soul is a pure. The soul originally is a pure. Created yes. by God is a pure. The soul doesn't have the, the, the sin. It is actually when the, when the, the spirit, our spirit, when the spirit is attached to the body, it form what you call it a self or you can say a conscious etc that's the one which is commit the sin and god gave us the free yeah. will to choose between that right and wrong now adam like i said if he was pure he would have never ever broken that law which god told him not to he will be like the, the angel the, the very moment he breaks it which shows that he had the potential to sin hence he's able to break the law which god told, uh, forbade, forbade him not to do see what i mean so the islamic perspective makes more sense because God giving you the free will and you choosing to disobey God. So you God. think that Catholics don't believe in free will? No, no, you do believe in free will. But when you're saying a one-year-old baby is a sinner, you're making you're making the baby a sinner from day one without itself, before, without the baby before committing doing anything. anything. That itself is injustice. Well, an that? Another, another issue. What about this baby who died at young age without being baptized? Yeah, that's another problem. God this isn't baby. bound by his sacraments, my friend. What? God isn't bound by his sacraments. So a baby, so the you said, you said you, here, yeah. by the way, you said here, yeah, which is important, again, a baby who is one or two years old died at this young age without without being baptized. He didn't go to church. He was born with atheist parents, etc. And he died at this the, at the age of one or two years old. What the consequence now, for the that The consequence baby? of this no, baby. No, now the question. Don't tell him. What do you think about this baby? Why because by the way, no, going no, back, no, no, I want no, no, to remind you what you said no, earlier. No, 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 you so cannot go to the heavens without the spirit baptized, yeah. without the spirit and water. Yeah? yeah. Well, so yeah there is no water now. Yeah, no, yeah. my brother. Don't if say what you believe. Yeah? Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, say what you believe. say is, if I say this, you're going to go, oh, well, where's the spirit and water now if a baby is oh, in heaven without you, being baptized? That's for you to tell us yes. what do you and believe what, rather what, than and that what is, is my belief. What is that your is belief? Will the baby, what is the consequence for such a child who's not baptized and he dies? They, go, they, they don't approach heaven 
They're in purgatory. They're That's in my purgatory. Point. Yes. And purgatory they're means cleansed. punishment? No, cleansed. Yeah, but it's not punishment. Why would he get cleansed? And how would he get cleansed? Through the same fires of hell. Fires of hell? Yes. So he's getting punished. No. No, 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 my friend. My friend, you're getting mistaken. You're the one who said fires of hell, yes. not me. It's the same fires. Yeah. It's the same pain. But it's a different. It's not punishment. It goes through pain. It's cleansing. No, it's not painful. It's painful. Sorry, yes. It's painful. How is that not Come punishment? On. It's painful, but it's what not punishment. This baby, no, what this on, baby has done, what this baby, listen, listen, what this baby has done, yeah, and even without going to, through a test, then, and then you are saying this baby, without going through a test, he will be punished. Do you understand what you're talking about? You see here, that's a problem. It's not being punished, though. You just it's said not pain. putting a baby in a fire. What is it? No, it's not cleansing. What is it's it? Pain. What, what is it? Making fry, hell. fried chicken. Hell what? is punishment. Hell is punishment. So is purgatory no, hold pain. on. No, it's not. Hell is punishment. Purgatory is cleansing. Heaven is with pain salvation. or without pain. Okay, so if it has pain. So. So, so what's the pain? Would you put a baby through pain? You, you yourself. If it, if it resulted in it being cleansed. No, no, a one day old baby, would you put it Why through pain? Why would I do the actions of God? No, no I'm Why not asking. Why would I do the actions no, no, of God? No, no, I'm not asking. You no, no, you are. You're trying to create. I'm saying, I, I, will tell you, I will tell you what. You're trying to create. I will tell you what. I will tell you what. Yes, you are. I will tell you what. That means we as a human being, we have more mercy than God. Yeah. No. How come? If God, you're saying, your God, according to you, will put baby into a pain and punish him for something he didn't do because Adam, please be open him, ate from the ate from that uh, from the tree. That's why he will be into this pain. Is so. What is this? Where is the justice? Where is the mercy of God? Where is the nature of love? He said. He, where is the nature brother, of love? Brother, he said justice, right. love. You're right. You're right. Which part? Is you're right. All, Which part? Part? all of it. Okay. So the pain is wrong. All of it. You're right. Okay. All being, of it. You're being right. a sinner from day one. You want to accept Islam now? Since we are right. <laughs> Why not? But, I'm hungry. I way, need to go. <laughs> yeah. But, by the way, look. We are not trying to be hard on you. By the way. No, 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 but it's good. By the way. We're just showing you that we are, as a human being, you would never put a child through pain. You would never do that. And we sincerely wish wish the guidance for you. We sincerely wish the guidance for you, and at the end of the day, I know there are certain things, you know, you, you, you may not have the answer of it. That's why we are giving you, you have a gift, okay. And as well, look at this, we have this Jesus, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, three men and one mission. That's good book as well. Thank you, Mike. Yeah? All right. Have a lovely evening. And you as well. Look after yourself. All right, take care. All right, take care, everyone. All right, take care. All right. Anyway. Yeah, so, we, I just wanted to say the difference we between... Sorry? Yeah, we need to go to the Wrap up. Yeah, yeah we are French. So, just wanted to wrap up about the story of Adam alayhi salam uh, in comparison to the Bible. So, even though, you know, Adam alayhi salam was told not to eat of the tree, and he did actually ate from it, but the Quran actually says that he forgot, isn't it? No, the Quran, Allah says, yeah. Disobey Allah Allah affirmed it. Yeah. So he disobeyed Allah yeah, he did, yeah. And yet Allah Azza wa Jal pardoned him. And Allah No, no, there's him. an ayah which says that out of forgetfulness. Yeah. 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 So it wasn't yeah, it wasn't deliberate, it was out of forgetfulness. Actually because the Prophet Fanasi Fanasi forget the the Quran yeah, exactly. of Allah, but still Allah Allah affirmed that he he disobeyed Allah. Yeah, he did. Yeah. So he did the Ma'asiyah. Yeah. Because yeah. So, uh, yeah, another thing, another thing, for the, another thing. The Prophet is a high status in terms, sorry, high standard of yeah. and, and uh, that, obedience, it should be. Yeah. yeah, another thing, after that, when Allah has sent him to earth, he became a Prophet of Allah, no doubt, and he didn't sin since then. My point is, this is Allah, that's a special case about Adam alayhi salam, and Allah Azza wa Jal appointed him to be a Prophet of God, that's best. Secondly, in relation to the children who are not born in Islam, and if they die without it, we know that they're going to be under the custody of Ibrahim alayhi salam until the day of judgment. And Allah Azza wa Jal even will not, Allah will not oppress them, will not wrong them. We don't know what's going to happen to them, by the way, Islamically. Some people, they say it's gonna go, they're going to go to paradise. Not necessarily the case, because they, might, they may be tested in the day of judgment before. Allah, Allah, Allah will not be unjust with them. Allah will be not unjust with them. No, no, no. That's all. Jazakumullah khair. And one important point, you know, they yeah. actually believe that the reason Adam alayhi salam was actually kicked out of heaven was yeah. because of that sin. Whereas in the Quran, Allah says Allah already, that 40 years before Adam was even add, breathed the soul in him. Adding, adding to this, yes. Musa alayhi salam, when he met Adam in the barzakh, yeah. he will say to him, you are the one who took us out from Jannah. He said, this matter, Allah has written it upon me. Ordained already. Then Allah ordained it upon me. What did he say? He said, فَحَجَّ Adam Musa. Meaning, Adam was was true in this against Musa alayhi salam in this matter. Anyway. So Allah already, you know, destined him to go to earth as a Khalifa. As a Khalifa. It's right. 40 years before he breathed their soul in him. Exactly. And this is not because of the sin he committed in 
in, in Jannah yeah. or, and this is what the difference between Christianity and Islam is. Yeah. So, and Allah teaches him from day one how to seek forgiveness. Whereas in Christianity, he can never be forgiven except by the blood of Jesus. And that is the difference between Islam and Christianity. And Christianity. That in Islam, Allah taught Adam. You know, we have the original forgiveness. Yeah. We have the original sin. <laughs> Allah <laughs> and, is forgiven. And realize the difference. Because Allah they can never be forgiven until, until the, somebody innocent like Jesus sheds his blood. Human sacrifice. And, and Alhamdulillah, Allah Alhamdulillah, is truly Alhamdulillah, we're Muslim. Alhamdulillah. And truly gracious. And he's a Rahman, a Rahim. Yes. Alhamdulillah. And as well, make dua for the brother that Allah to guide him to Islam. May Allah guide him to Islam. Wajalakum Allah. Salaam alaikum. Subscribe to Dawahwise as well. And pray for the Shaykh, inshallah. He'll be coming on Dawahwise very soon, inshallah. Inshallah. Jazakum Allah. Salaam alaikum. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Right? Yeah, yeah.